Okay, everybody, welcome back here to Anderson's TV and our crazy Ibanez day where we are literally putting out 10 videos a day, maybe even more, who knows, because actually we had another little uh, thing happening this morning uh, with a, a really nice friend of ours, Josh Smith, who is uh, who has announced... Serious guitar player. Serious guitar player who has announced a, a signature guitar with Ibanez, which is really exciting, and that is going to be one of the um, A set range, but they're bringing out... Uh, I'm sure we can say this now because now the whole thing should be out there in mm -hmm. the open. There's going to be an A set S range, which is a single cut version, oh. so a T style version of this guitar, which of course, being me, yeah. I'm quite excited about because yeah, I do yeah, like yeah. these guitars. Anyway, so we are we are looking at the the, the new A set uh, range of Ibanez guitars. Of course, we've seen these before, mm -hmm. but these are much more sort of vintage. Inspired. Inspired. You know, you've got all the top-notch bits made in Japan, everything from having um, sort of more vintage voice pickups in them. These are the uh, Fortuna pickups now, before you had the Hyperion. And they, are I these think. made for this range? This is just, uh, it's, it's a Seymour Duncan pickup. I'm not sure if it's made exactly for oh, this right. range, but it's a, they've changed the pickups in this. Mm -hmm. um, Rosewood board on here. Nice. Uh, the, 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 you know, it's got a roasted maple neck. Uh, Goto hardware and locking tuners up here, not the classic sort of locker tuners um, from the back, but from the front here. And apparently these are also kind of, you can raise them, they're staggered, but you can raise them up and down to I get like a these. bit of, yeah, they're really cool, aren't yeah. they? Um, 25 and a half inch scale length. Um, 22 frets. 22 frets, so it's much more sort of, it's... it's Tradish. I've got the, I've got the, um, the A set 2404, this right. is 24. 204 thing it where this is 22 frets and the other one is has got 24 frets oh, okay this feels much more familiar to me like a like do you know i don't remember the last time i played a 24 fret guitar i know that wasn't mine like, i don't have a 20 i don't know if i like yeah i don't know yeah but so anyway so all the all the super duper specs you can get from it a five-way selector switch two uh, volume and a tone and then you got this little super cool little switch down here which i'm going to tell you about in a minute now these comes in uh, two different colors. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, in three different colors. They come in this sort of, um, what's that, like a blonde trans white sort yeah, of? It's like um, a, yeah, exactly that, I think. It reminds me of the Eric Johnson uh, signature strap uh, yeah. color, but a little more pink. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more pinky in it. And then the blue one here, which of course is, I like this with the yeah, torque guard, nice. and a black version. And then there will be a seven string version off this guitar, so mm -hmm. so like a, um, a kind of a, a vintage inspired like with uh, HSS with a trim system as well. Wow! And we're gonna have a look at this over here in a little bit. Uh, you also, of course, get the uh, cool Ibanez cases. Because these are the prestige. So these you, are the you prestige get the bells series. and whistles with, so the, get, with the J Craft badge yeah, and stuff. You get they're made in Japan. You get all the bells and whistles on here. Um, just really quickly on the pickup side here. Uh, before Rabir is going to give us some gainy, nice tones over there. Hmm. Um, now, so this is the Dynamix 9 uh, switching system. So how it works is that if it's a downward position, downward dog, as yeah. some people like, you know, to do when they're doing yoga, you know, you can do downward dog and eat an avocado at the same time. Then you are just killing it. I've heard. Okay. I can't do that. I can't even bend down anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your five-way selector switch, which would be a uh, normal sort of um, single coil there, these two together, middle position, these two, and yeah. then full humbugger. When you then put that in the up position, what it does here is it, that it do goes in the serious, serious oh, right. series okay. position. Um, so the difference in, the, in that tone would be like... Uh, These were two would be in series. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to refer to the to the because um, if you can see, if I zoom in on this, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of there. stuff that these guitars do, and I really appreciate that. Oh, it's like that. a step down type thing going on. Isn't yeah, it? So, yeah. So you can see on the normal switch when it's in the down position, you get the normal switching thing. Oh, so actually, on the position four, it'll have, it will split. I said this, but that will split it to the first coil here. So if you are in the up position, we we'll get some tones from you in a minute. Um, that will then be the two outer coils, which wow. is really cool. So it adds the, 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 ba the back coil. In the middle position there, this, this will be in series, as it's you can everything. see. everything. Uh, yeah, but these will then be in series, you know. Oh, okay. And then you'll have the full humbugger. That one is just the, the, this side of the, of, the, of the humbugger, and that one is 
no matter which position you're I in, you get I love that you can have all on in yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, that's mental. So, so there's a lot of tonal options in this. Um, also worth mentioning, it's got a compound rab uh, rabies board here, um, stainless, de stainless steel thread. The slinky kind. Yeah. So, it, so it's a contemporary vintage. Vintage modern, modern. Vintage modern, as they say. You know what? I really like it. Contours in the in the neck here. Um, do you know I'm, what I I'm, think? I'm, I'm really into these guitars, man. Do you want to know what I think? What do you think? I've just been rambling on lots here. I don't, I don't own an Ibanez guitar. Specs. <laughs> yeah, I've never played an Ibanez. I don't own an Ibanez, sorry. I've played quite a few. And to be perfectly honest, I've always not enjoyed them because of the neck profile. Mm -hmm. And I assumed that it would be some, a similar story here. What I really like about the neck on this is that it's fat. It's quite a fat neck. It's not, yeah. it's not crazy, but it's more familiar to me. Uh, it's wider than I would normally have on, on my neck profile. But it's slightly after, wider, isn't it? Yeah, just a little bit wider for yeah. the modern player. But actually, after five, ten minutes when we were just messing around before filming, I was like, by the time we were about to start recording, I went, I actually really like this guitar. It takes a yeah. little bit of time to, for someone like myself to get used to it. But after that, I was like, sounds great, and it plays really nice. So. It's like going the opposite direction with, with a music man. Which yeah. Is, which is, if you've got a, you know, if you've got a tra traditional Fender neck uh, with yeah. here, this one is, it's, I mean, it's ever so slightly. It's it like feels, one millimeter. It's noticeable. It's noticeable because hands feel, you know, yeah. everything. And, and a music man, for instance, is slightly narrower. And then, yeah. you, then you have to, as soon as you get used to it, it's like, great. But the neck, as you say, lovely kind of, it's chunky, not too slim, not too fat. Because Ibanez neck. necks kind of flatten out. I know the wizard necks used to flatten out in the yeah. middle here. Yeah. Whereas this, it's the tiniest little bit of flat, but it's yeah. generally a really nice contour. Yeah, it's got the bigger uh, shoulders on it, yeah. you might say. But anyway, let's let's have some, cause I was just rambling on about pickups. So let's have a listen to the, to the pickups there. All right then. It's always worth saying it's got five springs in the back here and a, a big um, fat brass block. Brass block in there. So it's got all the bells and whistles, man. Mm. Uh, anyway, tones, please, Mr. Rebeer. All right, I'm into the Victory Kraken with, I think this is the captain's pedal board on the floor. It is the caps. So we'll see, see what we've got. Uh, see, see how we'll start with the neck pickup. Put a bit of reverb and delay in there. The terminal system is nice, isn't it? Yeah, really, really smooth. I think it's the Goto 510. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Uh, right, position four. Position three. That sounds great. It's good, isn't it? And then position two, again, more ambiance. <laughs> sounds really good. And then, yeah, let's just do a little bit of the old uh, bridge pickup. Sounds great. Monster. Right, let's go to the, uh, let's just try these, uh, this pickup configuration thing. I'm just gonna go back on here on my, my phone to just make sure that we get it right. All right. Um, uh, where are we? Here we are. So if you go into position five, so that's the front position, and you click the little uh, dynamo, dynamomanic mm -hmm. switch up, dynamix, uh, then you'll get the two front pickups, which are and then be in series connected. So, okay, so standard neck. And now we th throw it in. It sounds like a fat position four. Yes. 
<laughs> okay, and if you go into the second position, the uh, fourth position, mm -hmm. you'll get the two outer coils. Okay, so this is standard position four. And then throw it in. I like that that's, one. It's kind of good. a telly, isn't it? That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. And if you go in the middle position there, in position three, you'll this get... This is the bay, this is the one, This is all of them. This is all of them, but the two front ones will be in, um, then in series. Okay, so standard middle position. And then this one. Again, it's like a position four, but a little bit clear almost. Yeah, it's nice. It's very, very cool. Position uh, two there will then be the inner coil of the humbugger. So position two. Then oh, flick nice. it in. That's a good sound. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like that. Nice. And then on the back, of course, you've got the stereo and the bridge. So no matter what you do with the little uh, dinosaur sw uh, mix switch there, nothing will happen. So it's just straight up bridge. Exactly. Alrighty, yeah. there you go. Um, just for the sake of it, since we did all the rest, bridge. Here you go. Uh, so prices on these are will be around two grand. Okay. So maybe a little bit less. Have a bit um, of change. Yeah, I think that that's where, and I think they'll come. They'll be coming in in April sometime. So uh, you so know, two K with so change. Very, very, very cool guitars. Blue, white, yeah, that really and the black isn't that one. Bad, actually, um, when you and of course, if you've got any in, any uh, questions today, uh, Ibanez will take over our Instagram and our social media, and you can go and ask them over there if there's any more questions you want to know about these guitars. Now, this is normally not something I would do. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, but Lee Ray from uh, from Ibanez said, "I would like Pete to, to see Pete playing a seven, this Stevenson guitar because apparently he has now got one of these, and he absolutely loves it." Uh, and he said it's not really, maybe not so. Uh, I mean, it's got an extra string, so it's got an extra string. Therefore, it's be... it will be uh, <laughs> quite different. But right, so it's the A set twenty four o two seven. I like the numbers that they just. I'm amazed you yeah, even remembered that. Uh, it's the it, you know. I think once you know the line and you know twenty four frets o uh, seven strings and then maybe like. There's some extra bits and pieces. I thought it just became um, a bit of a meme for the guys at <laughs> Ibanez. Like, how complicated can we make this model number now? <laughs> Here's a YouTube guy that just goes, <laughs> yeah. mm? like that. Uh, so again, you've got Goto, um, I like Goto, Goto uh, bridge Sartanium. here, Sartanium stuff and graph nut tech, locking tuners, roasted maple neck, older body, um, the Hyperion 7 pickups. You've got the Dyna 10 mix, Dyna mix 10. Uh, switching system here, uh, volume and tone, and a five-way selector switch. Can I ask a question? Frets. Yes, you can. Dynamix 9 on these, 10 on that. What's the extra mix? I don't know. Was it? Was it Dynamix 9 on that one? Yeah. Was it? Well, I don't know then. Oh, okay. That's, uh, maybe it's got an extra string. Oh, maybe oh yeah. Oh, maybe there's an extra setting. Very true, because it's humbuckers, not HSS. Actually, let's just look that up. This is, again, I, I do tend to get confused with these... Um, don't you sometimes? Well, I think usually, I mean, it's no, if you've been to the NAM show before, as we have, like, yeah. it's no, every single year, Ibanez bring out a truckload of guitars. Like, every time you walk past Ibanez stand at NAM, it's just walls of new guitars. Yeah. So, and, and some of them are quite well. similar as well. Like, is when we're doing these kind of things, it's really hard to remember all the differences and details. But, it is. You know, like, Which, but, uh, you know, the fact that they can do that and they can have, all these guitars ready yeah, oh yeah, for a it's, launch. It's, it's impressive. It's really impressive. And they all feel and play super nicely. These are literally come into us and we've got boxes downstairs of about 38 guitars uh, that we're doing today. Um, do you know, it almost feels like a maze as well at the NAMM show when you go to the Ibanez booth and you can like, <laughs> there's all these little winding pathways with different guitars and it's like quite enjoy it, quite enjoy it there. And one time I was getting lost in it all and it opened up into an opening and Paul Gilbert was stood right there. It was like a load of people around like, don't think I'm meant to be here. I'm just gonna go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is not my kind of thing, but um, I would assume you could probably do like a... What's the low string on this then? B. B. Uh...
I mean, oh. do the whole John Mayer thing oh. when he did that whole thing, you know, but all of this. Good at yeah, some strings, but I, I actually I feel like I should maybe have one just because. Uh, anyway, let's just go back to this uh, position. So you got so that's the ne that's the neck and the position four here. It's the Outer two coils. inner coils. Oh, inner coils. Yeah. Man. Then you got everything on here. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the outer coils on position two. You still, you have to think, haven't you? Okay, anyway, so here is, and then it's the, the back pickup, which I would assume is a little bit more gain, but... And then if you then flick the switch up, then you've got the um, inner coil and a power tap. I mean... Power tap might be less output of the pickup. Okay, well that's, that's interesting, so... And then uh, here you've then got the inner coil just on its flip it flip it then you got both yeah. so coil cool. split for positions four yeah and, and then, then here two. you have the the outer coils here yeah and then these are power tapped oh, again interesting. yeah so um That's legit. Lots of sounds, like man. One. Lots of sounds. And then uh, this one is the split bridge. This is the split bit on the back. So again. And then is that just um, bridge pickup? That. And then here. Oh, sorry. On the back here is the is that, and then that at a power tap. Yeah, that was this one here. Because it sounds to me like. That, that is, sorry, so that just that one there. The sound you were just on wasn't that then. Okay. Position two. Position with this, two with, with the one up is just this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Split and then uh, all the way down is then that and a power tap. Full humbugger. Power. It wants the, yeah, it's angry sound okay. to pick up that. That was just me trying to play something on a seven string. I know you don't, you're not a seven string guy either. No, I'm not. But can you please see if you can riff, riff it? So just before you start and play us out a little bit with some rocky tones there, this is going to be about 2,000, maybe 100 kind of... Um, ish kind of thing of course links below and, and if you have any questions hop over if it, you are to watching today uh, and for the, all the other videos pop up here click up here in the pop up banner and you can watch all the other videos we've done and please like and subscribe thanks for beer I'm for not even in. joking what the neck smells like Denny's does it does it it's just reminding me of the Nam show now every morning it does we go smell to like a bit of a, a, a it smells like roasted. the maple syrup yeah that you get at Denny's wow now I feel like I want to be at the Nam show Anyway, there we go. Yeah, set no NAM show this year, but um, there right. we are. So please like and subscribe, and thank you again, Rabir. And uh, give us some My heavyish tonnage. My uh, pleasure. From this AZ24027. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Sounds pretty fierce. 